Hello and welcome to Iron Guitar with me, Anj. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Ice Cream Overdrive from Iconic Guitars. But first... This video is sponsored by Lead Guitar Toolkit. The key to killer lead guitar playing may already be in your pocket. This 4-in-1 guitarist multi-tool wants to make you a practice addict. With a rock and blues licks library, real field drum machine, variable key jam tracks and handy scale trainer, this Take Anywhere Toolkit makes mastering the fundamentals fun. Plus, it comes with this ebook free. Get yours today at leadguitartoolkit.com. Now, the Ice Scream is a mid forward tube screamer like overdrive uh, with a little trick up its sleeve. You'll see a little flicky switch in the middle here and an extra uh, control. So you have your volume, your tone, your gain, and this scream knob, which we'll come to in a moment. I am using a humbucker laden Jackson Monarch into a clean amp. Here is my clean tone. We're on the bridge pickup and I'm going to put everything at 12 o'clock with unity gain. So. So as you can hear, instantly it's that tube screamer type zone. Uh, let's just play with the tone, no, let's play the gain control. We'll turn the gain all the way off. So it just adds that little bit of grit as we start to wind the gain in. Tube stream and territory, or nice mid forward overdrive. If I play with the volume control on the guitar, so again, it responds really nicely to the volume control as you'd expect from this type of circuit. Um, now, the biggest surprise to me, other than the extra control, is this tone control. I don't say this about tone controls very often. This tone control is fantastic. So at midpoint, it's what you'd expect. If I roll it all the way off, where you'd expect to get proper, proper, proper mud. You don't go into mud territory. It's not clear, but it's warm. And as I start winding it in, So that tone control actually, whilst the extremes probably are exactly that extreme, as you roll towards the treble, really does start to cut through without becoming too shrill until you hit right at the top end. So you get to about, um, what's that on the clock? That's three o'clock. It just opens up the tone really nicely. And then if you go back to sort of nine o'clock. It kind of just would take the top end off really like um, maybe a slightly shrill um, strap pickup, for instance. Now, where the real kind of difference with this pedal comes is on this screen switch. So basically there is a second gain circuit, which the first gain circuit pushes. And then I engage the screen.
So what you get, I don't know if you can hear it, you get an extra gain stage with a bit of compression. Um, and it almost feels like a bit of clean blend. It isn't, but it, the compression gives it that slightly... slightly spankier sound. Turn the circuit all the way down. It doesn't do much but add a tiny bit of compression. As we wind the circuit up, we get more gain, as you'd expect. As we start to push that circuit with the other side of the, the original gain circuit, So it just kind of completely changes the way the circuit responds, the way the pedal sounds, um, adds that compression so you kind of feel like there's a bit of a, um, I don't know, it, it feels like there's more happening to the to the frequencies. It does sound like there's a bit of clean blend in there because it kind of gets that one. <laughs> Yeah, it just sounds like there's a bit of blend coming in which kind of opens up the circuit. I don't know if there is or there isn't, but the way the circuit works sounds like it. And it turns it from being just a, an ordinary Tube Screamer type clone into a much more versatile pedal because it just allows you to push an amp harder. <laughs> The, the screen switch and the screen dial and that extra gain circuit. It turns this from just being a standard kind of tube screamer clone into something that becomes uh, a solo boost, a bit more of a bluesy pedal because on its own it sounds like you're pushing another circuit. So... So when I turn down the volume on the guitar, I'm on the neck pickup. So because of the dual gain style to it, you get much more versatility just from the volume um, on the guitar. It is a really good overdrive pedal. 
Uh, one of one of the best I've used in a long time because the tone control actually is useful. Uh, the extra circuit in there opens up a whole variety of tones. The only thing I wish is that there was maybe an extension port that allowed me to put a second button on there to engage the um, the extra circuit from a from a from a button well from a foot switch rather than having to do the flicky switch because you could really use that as a solo boost probably easy to mod as it is actually a physical switch you could probably mod that quite easily but don't get me wrong superb pedal it's not a cheap pedal uh, i got this in a sale for less than 100 pounds but i've only seen them online now for 130 140 pounds but i think it's worth it if you're looking for an overdrive pedal that brings something different to your pedal your pedal board than the tube screamer would uh, really versatile, sounds great. Try and pick one up if you're interested in an interesting, nice overdrive that adds a bit more than a tube screamer. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.